It is not easy to be a witness for Christ. We can be challenged by misunderstandings and ridicule. And yet somehow we need to bear witness to Christ. It is when we accept the challenge to become saints that we become witnesses, apostles. And that, says Pope Benedict XVI, is what the world needs more than anything else. We are here at last in Sydney and together we stand in our world as God's family, disciples of Christ, empowered by his spirit to be witnesses of his love and truth for everyone. I, do, I want to do something in my life that is going to make a difference and that's going to help people. Well look, one day I'd like to uh, run for parliament and uh, I'd like to think I can make a, make a difference in terms of uh, having a good impact on society. Standing before me, I see a vibrant image of the universal church, the variety of nations and cultures from which you hail shows that indeed Christ's good news is for everyone. Religion and life are not two separate spheres, that they are totally um, interlinked. And so I think apostolate is, is just helping people to to be aware of what God wants for them. Yet I know too that a good number of you are still seeking a spiritual homeland. To you, I wish to offer encouragement. Step forward into Christ's loving embrace. Recognize the church as your home. No one need remain on the outside, for from the day of Pentecost, the church has been one and universal. I've only been a Catholic for a little over a month, so it's it's been amazing to be here with so many other fellow Catholics who are so excited about their faith. I went to university and I met two or three people who are on this trip today and they were so excited about their faith and they explained to me in such a kind and compassionate way that the Catholic Church wasn't about all the things that I thought it was about and it was actually an incredibly loving place to be, an incredibly vibrant and, and welcoming place and you know, plus with all the theology, it just it gradually made more and more sense. And I decided that one day I couldn't say no anymore and I couldn't keep living the way I was living. And so I, I was received on Corpus Christi this year. My mother keeps saying, you know, I won't follow you, but I'm happy for you. And they've been incredibly supportive. My mother bought me my first rosary and you know, my sister and my mother, I was very pleased. They came to my reception and my sister's very funny. All, all that she said to me was, I ask only one thing of you, don't get stigmata because it'll make it really awkward to introduce you to people. Um, so they've been incredibly supportive and I think they understand that this is something that I feel I need to do and they understand that I need to be true to my conscience even if they don't understand the reasons why. Our hearts and minds are yearning for a vision of life where love endures, where gifts are shared, where unity is built, where freedom finds meaning in truth and where identity is found in respectful communion. We're a Protestant Christian group, non-denominational, and we just wanted to be a part of it because we th think it's great that you know young people are coming over to, to, to for their faith. It's awesome. We're actually going to an event tonight called Receive the Power that's at Barangaroo. We feel welcome, and we're not Catholics, and we've been actually out on the streets passing out flyers, inviting everybody on the streets to come. Our Christian witness is offered to a world which in many ways is fragile. Society today is be, being fragmented by a way of thinking that is inherently short-sighted because it disregards the full horizon of truth so it is about God and about us. If you have a faith that doesn't influence your social life, it isn't much of a faith at all. I think the religious doctrines are always going to influence the life of faith. If we're told to love then, and we're told to honour human life, then I don't see how we can hold a lot of the opinions that are sort of trendy and popular at the moment. And the church always has a mission to preach love and to preach the love of Christ in the world. What is our response as Christian witnesses to a divided and fragmented world? How can we offer the hope of peace, healing and harmony? The young people, is it not because of your faith that friends in difficulty are seeking meaning in their lives have turned to you? Be watchful. Listen. That's something that I really need to do more is to love. I 
thought I loved my friends, but I really, but I realise now that I didn't really love them. I, I liked them. I need to be asking them about about their troubles and talking to them about it and, and loving them. And, and it's really made me realise how much they need love in their life. I look at my friendships in a new way, um, the way I relate to my friends. The value I place in friendship has, has changed, it's grown. And um, I realise that the, the best things that I can help my friends with and, and carry on to my friends is is trying to make them happy um, with a happiness that is lasting. I do have people that will come to me with concerns that they have about certain things. Um, it's more the people that have known me for a longer time period, people that I work with mainly. When you're in a situation where you're surrounded by people who are clearly of, of differing views, the first thing is not to get angry and not to think like, they have to believe what I believe. No, like it's, <laughs> you have to be able to explain it. A new generation of Christians is being called to help build a world in which God's gift of life is welcomed, respected and cherished, not rejected, feared as a read and destroyed. A new age in which love is not greedy or self-seeking, but pure, faithful and genuinely free, open to others respectful of their dignity, seeking their good, radiating joy and beauty. A new age in which hope liberates us from the shallowness, apathy and self-absorption which did in our souls and poison our relationships. Dear young friends, the Lord is asking you to be prophets of this new age messengers of his love, drawing people to the Father and building a future of hope for all humanity.